This paper looks at the duration of antibiotic treatment after appendicectomy for acute complicated appendicitis. We do know that appendicitis can broadly be divided as complicated or uncomplicated depending on the presence of perforation and peritoneal soiling. And although there could be some controversy about the management of uncomplicated appendicitis, complicated appendicitis is always treated surgically. In addition, a period of perioperative antibiotic administration reduces complications such as surgical site infections and intra-abdominal abscess. What we don't know, however, is how long should the antibiotics be given. Should they be given for the conventional 4-7 to seven day course or could they be given for a shorter period of time? In this study, the authors looked at their experience with about 267 patients with complicated appendicitis. The protocol that they followed was that all patients first received a dose of cefamandol and metronidazole at the time of induction, and once the complicated appendicitis was confirmed, antibiotics were con continued using cefiroxime and metronidazole on a three times daily basis. On this basis, they were able to divide their population into three, two groups. 135 patients received antibiotics for only three days, as opposed to 123 who received it for five or more days, and a small number, about nine, were not clearly identifiable. When they looked at the outcomes in terms of comparing patients who received three days of antibiotic therapy with patients who received five days of antibiotic therapy, they found that the two key variables that we're interested in, one wound infection, there was no difference between the two groups, and similarly, as far as intra-abdominal abscess was concerned, once again, there was no difference between the ones that received three days versus the ones that received five. Importantly, the authors could not see any significant difference between open and laparoscopic approaches to the problem. They therefore conclude that after appendicectomy for complicated appendicitis, three days of antibiotic treatment is equally effective as five days in reducing postoperative infections. How valid is this conclusion? If you look at the methodology of the paper, it's an interventional study done at a community hospital in the Netherlands over about a six-year time frame. The analysis, however, was entirely retrospective and there was no attempt at sample size cal calculations. The numbers were reasonable of 267 patients, about equal numbers in both groups, the three days and the five day group. However, the problem arises because even though there were controls in an interventional study, there was no randomization, there were no protocols or training, and they do not clearly state at any point in the paper whether the two groups were comparable. As far as the measurement is concerned, once again, there are no major clinical items of interest. So putting it all together, is the author's conclusion sustainable? And the answer would be no. This is not a very good paper. It's full of holes and has to be treated with caution.